The best elements within us can spread light and virtue. And I know ponies who represent them all. Strength, bravery, healing, beauty, hope, and sorcery. Myself and these pillars of Equestria were gathered together by another to maintain and share the light of these powerful ideals. But we soon came to believe the pony who brought us together only wanted that power for himself. Cast out and alone, this power-mad pony turned to darkness to satisfy his thirst. Transformed into a pony of shadows, he returned for revenge. To extinguish the pillar's light and rob the world of hope. To stop him, the pillars and I must make a brave sacrifice. But we shall leave behind a seed in hopes that one day, it will grow into a force to stand against the darkness for all time. We must now face the fiend with the only plan we have. I only hope it will be enough. That's the last entry, and maybe Star Swirl's final words before he vanished. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? I've always wondered what happened to Star Swirl. This is quite a discovery, Sunburst. So, it's genuine? You can verify that this journal really belonged to Star Swirl the Bearded? Indeed. From the looks of it, the last thing he wrote before facing the Pony of Shadows. Uh, so, the Pony of Shadows was really real? It appears so. We never met the other pillars, and we were too young to understand the danger they faced. Hold on a second now. All those legendary ponies were real, too? And they went off with Star Swirl to face the Pony of Shadows, and then none of them were ever heard from again? <laughs> yeah! Weren't you listening? But what happened to them all? They must have defeated the villain, since Equestria is still full of light and hope. But how? And where did they go? My old Ponish is a bit rusty, but I wonder if the answers can be found somewhere within the pages of this book. I just happen to be an expert in old ponish. I mean, I practically memorized every ancient text about Star Swirl there is. Seriously, all of them. We have fond memories of our old teacher. If you could discover what happened to him, we would be most grateful. Solving a thousands year old mystery could take forever. Think of the research, the re-reading, the re-re-reading. You might find you need help. Luckily, she's got a whole bushel of helpers right here. Totally! Uh, how long will all this research take, exactly? Let's get this back to my library. I'm sure we'll figure out what happened in no time. Figure it out yet, Twilight? Uh, what did you figure out? You figured something out? What is it? <sighs> Nothing. I mean, Star Swirl was a genius, obviously. But forget old Ponish. There's parts where his horn writing is like another language. Oh. Uh, Twilight, we've been studying and referencing and cross-referencing for three days straight now. Uh, I haven't spent this much time reading since the last Daring Do book came out. Perhaps it is time to take a break. This mystery is over a thousand years old, after all. Another day or two won't make a difference. Two days? I don't want to waste two seconds. I'm close to an answer. I can feel it. Herk Se Ponehenge. What's that? The Temple of Ponehenge? You can read that? The horn writing's pretty sloppy, but it's nowhere near as bad as mine. Tawar Dal Grimlik of Fola 
Thirgenborg? At the base of Full Mountain. Usur Endemest Shield. <gasps> Our last stand. <sighs> well, that sure sounds like a clue to me. This is it, Pwnhenge. I can't believe it. I've never seen magical runes like these before. Have you? Uh-uh. I don't think any pony's seen any of this for a long time. It'd take a whole team of ponies to clear away all this brush. Even then, I'm not sure we'd find out what happened here over a thousand years ago. Uh, you're right. I suppose it was a long shot. Cheer up, Twilight. Finding a whole set of ancient ruins is pretty impressive. Or maybe you could write a paper on it. I guess I hoped we'd get here and the mystery would just magically be explained. Uh, Twilight? <gasps> to be here my whole life. I can't believe you're here. I don't think he is here. I don't think any of them are. <laughs> you summon me at your peril, Star Swirl. Once I defeat all of you, this round will embrace the darkness, as I did so long ago. <laughs> Drawing me here will only make me stronger. You will never defeat me. We did not come here to defeat you. like Star Swirl cast a spell that banished the Pony of Shadows. Of course. Powerful magic like that would leave an impression on this place. Bringing the book back here let us see what happened. Which was what? Star Swirl and the rest of the pillars sacrificed themselves to save Equestria. It's amazing to think one of the greatest mysteries of Equestria was solved with a musty old book from an antique shop. But I wouldn't say the mystery's solved. Star Swirl's spell was one of the most powerful feats of magic in all of history. It'll take years of study before we fully understand it. I think I understand Star Swirl's spell! I know I finished one of Star Swirl's spells before, but this one was on a whole different level. Was it an explosion of magical feedback? An evocation? A kind of incantation? It's Star Swirl, so the possibilities are endless! And once Starlight set me on the right track with his crazy horn riding, <laughs> I mean, he was a genius, so I guess we can forgive a little messiness. I went through the journal again, and it's amazing! Twilight, darling, we understand you're excited, but that's all we understand. What exactly is so amazing? Only how Star Swirl and the other pillars sent the Pony of Shadows to limbo. They did what now? They used their magic to open a portal between worlds, to Limbo, and pulled the Pony of Shadows inside. Darling, your diorama! I made more! Star Swirl thought the only way to trap the Pony of Shadows in Limbo was for the Pillars to take him there. So they got stuck too! 
The Pony of Shadows must have been really awful for them to do that. I suppose being trapped for all time with a super duper bad guy in limbo might be okay if you were doing the limbo? <laughs> but that's still pushing it. The thing is, I think I can get them out. Twilight, are you serious? You can save the most legendary ponies of all time? I don't know. Opening portals between worlds didn't work out well for me. <laughs> are you sure it's safe? First of all, you opened portals through time. And second of all, Star Swirl wrote the spell you used to do it. If he'd been here, he could have stopped it. Equestria would be safer with him in it. We have to save him. But you'd be saving all the pillars, right? And they disappeared ages ago. That's the thing about Limbo. It isn't one place or another. It's in between, so time stands still. If we can pull them out, it'll be like they never left. I actually built another model to demonstrate. Ugh. What can we do to help? If I'm right, we need to find items that are connected to the pillars in some way. You mean like stuff that belonged to them? How would we know what to look for? Or where? Luckily, Star Swirl took a lot of notes. My compatriots are as varied as the realm itself and hail from every corner of our land, bringing with them artifacts and talismans of great power. Um, Twilight, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Rock of Shovel! Flash Magnus's shield! Miss Main's flower! Meadowbrook's mask! And the blindfold Somnacula wore when she faced that nasty sphinx! I guess we don't need to figure out who should get what. Professor, it's a mighty helm headpiece. Maybe it belonged to Rockhold himself. Legends don't wear helmets. This belonged to a real pony. Oh, I can guarantee Rockhook was as real as you and me. <laughs> and I suppose that Ravine was dug with his trusty shovel to save the village from an erupting volcano. Probably. I love old legends as much as any pony, but a pony strong enough to save a village from rushing lava with a shovel is preposterous. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. You saved us. I bet if you told some pony else the story, it might sound preposterous. I suppose some stories might be true. And Rock Hoofs appears to be one of them. Those hooves to yourself, dearie. This place has been in my family for generations, and I'm not about to let some whippersnapper take the last good piece of it. Time wise, ponies came from far and wide to see these gardens, but that flower's the only worthwhile thing left. <laughs> like your gardens were worthless, but a little pruning can work wonders. Of course, you will have to look after more than just one flower now. You've given me back my family's legacy. The flower you wanted seems like a fair treat for that. I can't believe Flash Magnus's shield ended up in the Dragonlands. Good thing you brought the official equestrian friendship ambassador to the dragons to help you navigate our customs. Like our favorite sport, guard surfing! <laughs> okay, that was awesome! Dragon Lord Ember commanded us to make peace with ponies, but it doesn't mean you can surf in our spot. 
Whoa, fellas! As the official equestrian friendship ambassador to the dragons, I have to say that's not very friendly. Well, what do you know? The puny pony dragon sticking up for his pony pal. Hey! That's an ancient pony artifact! Close off my gorge board! I found it in the desert, and finders keepers. It isn't yours. Huh, it sure looks like mine, but I might consider racing you for it. No problem. Um, no, I mean you. <laughs> said anything about pony loving dragons uh, since dragon lord ember commanded you to make peace with ponies you can't very well attack one of their friends can you i guess we'll find out <laughs> hiding when I beat you down the ridge. You fell. Wow. You must be slow if all Spike had to do to win was fall down. I'm faster than you. Doubt it. Fine. I'll race you back to the top. If you win, you can have your pony junk. But if I win, you'll leave and I get to give it to him. Fine. I'm pretty sure I could beat you anyway. But with that heavy hunk of metal on your back, it'll be a snap. Huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the tip. See you at the top, loser! Hey! That's mine! Finders keepers! Remember? See? Because that's what you said to them when they first showed up. <laughs> Just remember not to turn away from them, Cattail. Flash bees can get pretty aggressive. I guess that's why none of the other bayou animals can get to the water. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to wear the mask that calms the bees? It would. If I didn't have to fly up here to move their hive. Now the other bayou creatures can get to the water without the bees feeling threatened. You know, you didn't have to help with this. I would have lent you the mask anyway. I know, <laughs> but I couldn't leave without helping. I don't think any pony can find anything in there. I wouldn't give up hope just yet. Weren't you looking for a blindfold? Oh, yeah! I can't believe I'm gonna meet Star Swirl the Bearded. You know, outside of my dreams. I can't believe you're actually going through with it. What do you mean? I'm all for pushing the envelope, obviously, but this is pretty out there for you, Twilight. What's out there about saving the most legendary ponies of all time from a thousands-year-old prison? Well, nothing, when you say it like that. Unless the most legendary ponies of all time knew what they were doing, and we shouldn't mess with it. I'm sure Star Swirl and the Pillars did the best they could back then, but magic has come a long way, mostly because of the work they did. That's true, and you did get your wings from finishing one of Star Swirl's spells. Exactly. But then I messed with one and nearly destroyed the universe, so... Starlight, Star Swirl the Bearded is the greatest wizard who ever lived. The chance to have him back in Equestria is worth the risk. That's good news. 
Otherwise, we'd have brought this shield for nothing. I hope you don't think you're the only one to find her artifact, because this here shovel says otherwise. Oh, nice to see you two. Not everything is a competition, but Miss Main's flower is by far the most attractive of the artifacts. You're just saying that because you didn't have to scuba dive in a pit of green slime to get yours. Or move a flash beehive. Good work, everyone. Let's do this. What? What has happened? It worked! We brought you back! To where? You and the others have been trapped in limbo for over a thousand years, but I figured out how to get you home. What? No, 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 no! You must undo what you've done! What? Why? I mean, I don't think I can. You cannot bring us back! But I did! I brought all the pillars back! You cannot bring only the pillars back!